Hi guys, I'm here with the vegan cooking video and today we're going to be making barbecue cauliflower bites. Okay, let's get into the ingredients. We have one head of cauliflower washed and cut into little florets, one cup of barbecue sauce, one cup of milk, one cup of flour, and a half a teaspoon of chili powder. Now, I of course used almond milk for this recipe, but if you're not vegan, you're welcome to use regular cow's milk or any type of milk you like for that matter. Preheat the oven to 450 degrees. Let's get into utensils. You're gonna need a whisk, a knife, and a medium-sized mixing bowl. You're also going to need a baking pan that's lined with parchment paper. You're going to cut up the cauliflower head into bite-sized pieces, better known as florets. So get to cutting, but be safe. You see how I'm holding my fingers? That is incorrect. Be better than me. Now you're gonna add all your ingredients to the bowl. There I am adding my flour. Then I'm gonna add that chili powder. Get all that chili powder. Get all that, girl. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna add my milk. I had to put it in two containers, so that's about a half a cup each container, which makes a cup, guys. And now you're gonna whisk it all together until the ingredients are mixed well. And you have no lumps. Now you're gonna take the bite-sized pieces and dip them into the batter mix. You just coat them evenly and then set them on the parchment-lined baking pan. And you do this to each bite-sized piece until you have dipped all of them and they're covered and they're lined on the tray. Once they're lined on the tray, this is what they'll look like. And then you'll go ahead and pop them in the oven. You'll let them bake in the oven for 20 minutes. Once they're done baking for 20 minutes, you'll take them out of the oven and place them on the counter. And then you'll add the one cup of barbecue sauce. It said on the recipe I found, it said brush it on, but I don't have a brush, so I kind of spooned it on. But do the best you can. However you have to get the barbecue sauce on there, make it do what it do. It really doesn't matter, as long as you cover them with a barbecue sauce. Anything works. So once you're done covering it with barbecue sauce, this is what they should look like. And then you're gonna pop them into the oven for an additional eight to 10 minutes. After you take them out of the oven for the second time, this is your finished product. This is your barbecue cauliflower bites. Now it's time to plate and eat up. For dinner this night, I decided to have a baked sweet potato and that has some vegan butter on it, some cinnamon and some shredded coconut and some broccoli and the barbecue cauliflower bites. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe to my channel and let me know down below in the comments if you want to have if you want me to make more cooking videos. I kind of like doing it actually. Thanks for watching. Bye.